I'm Professor Andrew Spencer and I work at the Australian Centre for Blood Diseases at the Alfred Hospital in Melbourne. I work predominantly on a disease called multiple myeloma which is a form of cancer of a cell that lives in the bone marrow and it's presently incurable but there are a number of therapeutics around which can extend people's lives. The issue that we face is that the disease is predominantly that of the elderly with the average age of diagnosis of 70 and most of the clinical trials which have uh, informed the basis for drugs available through the PBS have been undertaken on fitter younger patients and so it's increasingly clear that we don't really know how to use these drugs in older myeloma patients who are the true representation of the population out there in Australia who've got the disease. And it's therefore not really evident that those older patients have benefited from uh, the newer drugs that the government funds for the disease. So we've now got an MRFF grant to explore how to use these drugs more effectively in older patients. The novel thing about the trial that we will undertake is that elderly patients will be broken up into three different groups based on their frailty. So there's quite fit older patients, there's some who are not very fit, and then there are some who are quite frail. And within each of those uh, frailty groups, we'll be comparing the available standard of care drugs that we can get through the PBS. So the aim of the study is to define what may be the best drugs to use in elderly patients, but perhaps more importantly, what are the best doses or timing of use of the drugs depending on a person's level of fitness. We expect that this will be uh, enabling us in the future to dose the right drugs at the right level into the different types of elderly patients that we treat. One of the other unique aspects of the trial is that we will utilize the myeloma registry which we've established here to track the outcome of the patients, which means we'll be able to compare the outcome of these patients with patients who are not on the trial, or patients who have been treated previously in Australia with these drugs, but perhaps at the wrong doses. So overall, we expect in the next five years to get a far clearer picture of how to treat these elderly myeloma patients effectively with drugs which are available on the PBS.